I'm a photographer, I'm based in Kiev, and uh, I shoot fashion and uh, just personal projects. Today we're gonna discuss the photo shoots through the web, how to make them, how to execute them, what the possibilities are, and uh, hopefully I will give you the tools that you're gonna use for your shootings. So I will start by sharing my screen. So uh, I call this presentation the best camera is one uh, with an internet connection because we're gonna be shooting online. So this idea of the remote camera, of the camera that you use to shoot something that you are not present with or the whole concept of the remote camera shootings is not in you. We do not invent this during pandemics or something, some stuff like that. No, uh, this is actually something that exists quite a lot of time. Perhaps when the first cameras was invented, like security cameras, at that point of time, artists start to using them for their projects. So concept is not new and uh, we're going to be using this concept in a variety of ways to make our shooting. I do have a question for my audience. How do you think? What are you looking at? Do you see the image? How do you think what it is? Screen of a computer. Oh. No. What 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 it can... look like a space like a cosmos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, okay. it's cosmos, but obviously it's not really cosmos. Yep. That's spicy. Is it a three three D rendering or what's your thoughts on that? It, it, could be, it could be 3D with uh, help of Photoshop. Mm -hmm. Okay. It would be. Any maybe, ideas? Maybe. What's maybe college? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's so, how how maybe, how moon uh, moves around the planet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, this has to be. If it is a real image, it should be. I believe uh, Saturn or uh, mm -hmm. from the space missions. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's exactly the case. This is the image of Saturn. Uh, this is a Cassini mission of NASA. And this image is Cassini last image. So when the mission is done, the Cassini aircraft falls onto Saturn, and that's exactly the last image this uh, was done by Cassini before the end of the mission and Cassini death. So if you imagine this is remote camera, we're not gonna be able to take this image by ourselves for a very long time. But using remote camera, we can do it. So the remote camera, this idea is the camera that you only can view through, or you can a little bit, you have a little bit of control over it, but not too much. So usually NASA program these uh, spacecrafts to move in certain way and to take photos in certain times and then transfer them to the Earth, so they can view it. So this idea is widely used in uh, cases like that. But some artists use these remote cameras a lot uh, in their art. The good example of such an artist is Thomas Roth. Thomas Roof is a German artist. He made a lot of projects. He widely known. 
this is his Cassini project. What he did, he take NASA pictures because NASA has the picture policy that you can use their images as, as, as you want, basically. So he downloaded these images, he colorized them, changed them in Photoshop a little bit and made a series of prints. They quite big in print. So he actually did quite an interesting scene if you think about it, about the concept. He never been to Southern. He didn't took those images even. But he used remote camera, the result of the remote camera operation in his uh, work. And he created this, this body of work. So number one possibility when you're using a remote camera is to use it like as is. It could be the webcam, it could be security cam, it could be any camera which you can use to absorb reality. You observe reality. You do not have control over it. And you know that security camera view is widely used in fashion shoots. I do not remember from the top of my head, but I do believe that there is a few campaigns which use this aesthetic or which use the exact cameras. Now, the next the thing that you can do with the remote camera is to shoot, uh, again, something that you could not witness by yourself. This is my shot of uh, SpaceX launch, which we had this year. So I shot it from my home and uh, I was never present at the space uh, ship launch. I shoot it on black and white film and then I colorize it with the artificial intelligence. This shot I did with the model. And again, this is just a screenshot. So I use my computer, I make a phone call and just make a screenshot. Sometimes I use screenshots that you cannot tell that there is a Skype call or whatever it is. Like this, there is no signs uh, of uh, there is no signs of um, no logo of the Skype or, or whatever. It's it's a screenshot. It's like the picture. So the idea here is that you can you can see this as just a regular picture. You cannot tell that this picture how it was done basically. This one, you can tell that this is a Skype call. So sometimes it's important, sometimes it is not, but this is tool that you can use. You can hide it or you can use it because uh, in this particular picture I used, you can see her phone uh, and we see it through her phone in her mirror so we can see the phone and, and the model. And uh, I move my, my mouse in my computer so I can see all those signs from Skype. That could be the part of the image or you can do something like this without those parts. It depends on your concepts. Do you need it? Do you don't need it? Because sometimes you can, if you have a good internet connection and you use front camera of your phone, for example, your pictures could be very good in, in quality that you cannot define that it was done through the Skype or through the uh, web. Sometimes you want that, sometimes you don't. So you could go either way. Uh, with the remote camera, there is a possibility to use a real camera. You can connect your DSLR or whatever camera you have to your computer. We now have a software, it, it would be EOS WebKit or uh, Imagine, Imagine Mobile so, software for Sony. Fuji has the software that you can use to basically connect your camera to your computer, give it an internet connection and someone from other part of the world can uh, 
remotely control your camera. So possibilities today are basically endless. The next uh, part that I want to share, the next technique that I want to show, show to you is the computer screen itself, that your computer or your phone is the physical object. And you can use this in your shooting. Uh, there is known photographers, <laughs> and I do believe that this name is uh, not new to you, uh, who did, who used the uh, physical object with the screen on their photos to say something. This is a Lee Friedlander photos series of TV sets that he shot in 60s and 70s, I believe. So he basically shot those uh, switched on TV with some random TV shows inside the hotel rooms or whatever he uh, find a TV set in. And you can clearly see that there is a vibe of 60s. You can, uh, this is kind of the symbol of the era. You can clearly see that this is 60s, 70s. So you can use your computer in a similar way or phone. Uh, you can interact with the reality that you are in. For example, if you're a photographer, you can put your phone somewhere, you can shoot the screen uh, of your computer as an object. So this is me shooting on a film uh, through the web uh, where I use this screen. This shot is like I shoot the screen, if I will print this photo big, you could see the pixels and all that. So the difference with the screenshot that you done, uh, that you do with your computer when you uh, push print screen button or whatever combination for Mac shift command three, is that uh, the screenshot doesn't have the pixels. So it's basically maybe low resolution image, but it doesn't have those quality that screen uh, has by itself. But when you shoot your screen with your camera, uh, you have a different uh, quality to the image. The viewer can clearly define that this is uh, the photo of the screen, not a screenshot. This, all, this is also the photo of the screen. They done on uh, large format film and I used high resolution screen. So to see those pixelations, those photos has to be huge. But I have photos with, where it's more pronounced. Then again, I can use the, uh, those buttons from the Skype to showcase that this is actually a phone call and not a photo. You can see the Skype logo on the top uh, bottom left corner of the image. Again, that you can define that this is not a real photo, but a Skype call. I used the same technique with the um, Skype buttons. And this is the example that I used to show uh, to use a screen as an uh, as an object, to use the whole mic, uh, the whole computer. So as a photographer, I can build a set. I can put the screen inside this set and photograph the whole set to add something uh, to give a new concept to the image and so on. So this is something that is um, quite interesting because. This particular shoot was the live session, so I shoot my friend, and uh, he doesn't know where he stands. Like uh, he doesn't know that I built this uh, stuff around my computer. And the inspiration this is something that Giovanni said in uh, uh, his presentation that you can use inspirations and. Uh, you can refer to some works of art. Was this image by, by Man Ray? This is a fake head of Man Ray. So I used a fake head of my friend because 
the computer screen image is not a real thing. It's a fake head, similar, and it's a physical object at the same time, similar to the Monterey work. Then you can uh, put something on top of your screen. That's another possibility to do something uh, because screen is a, uh, it's a physical object. You can work with it. You can draw on your screen. You can put uh, some plastic, transparent plastic over your screen and draw with the markers to add something or to write something like in the real time while you're shooting. So that's kind of interesting, but you have to uh, re-photograph the screen itself. So I use scotch tape, uh, this blue stuff on top. This is the scotch tape on, tape on top of my screen. Then I use this MacBook uh, logo because without it, it's not clearly understand that this is the screen, the shot of the screen. That this is the web conversation. The the next technique that I will show you that you can use, but I will ask you not to use in our residence, but it is possible. It is the way uh, is to do list. So basically, you as a photographer uh, or or even a designer. I, I can imagine you can use it not only for the to produce images. Is you do something, for example, if you want to do a photo shoot and you want a model do this and next model do that and blah blah blah, you do it by yourself, you photograph it, or you make a video of it, and then you send these instructions to your real model for example, in another country, and she photographed by her, herself according to your instructions. Then she sent her images back to you, and you work with them and put them together and make the call that you want. Uh, this project is, um, is a quarantine project. So the basic, the concept is that during quarantine, during pandemic style, time, we do not have as much physical contacts between ourselves, between uh, me and uh, other people. So we have a social distance and we almost forget those uh, touches that we have uh, had in the past. So this physical contact in uh, recent times became something that we it means much more than it was before so if somebody shake your hand it means more today than it was before so i ask uh, first video i did with my wife at my be bedroom and then i ask my friends from different parts of the world to do basically the same they wash hands but in more maybe sensual way. And then they sent those videos to me, I combined them and created the work that I wanted. There is different races, different groups of people, one, two, three, five, and so on. This is like only small part. I just want to give you the tool that you can use, maybe, because in our residence, maybe it's not as easy to use this exact technique, but in your maybe other photographic journey or designer journey or whatever, uh, this is this could be the way to go. To do list for somebody and then you can collect results and do your project. The next way to take photos online and use uh, webcam is picture in picture. This is all those names uh, are my mind. So this is also a screenshot from a phone call, but you can see that uh, the girl has her own portrait at the background. This could be portrait, 
this could be one model and uh, the photo of another one. She can hold her uh, laptop or iPad with the image in front of her. She can hold her phone. The possibilities are endless here. So because as I understand it and as I know, one photographer will work with two designers and you must produce the image which has two, de two designers at one image. This could be the way how you can do this. So you can use two screens, you can use one screen and uh, for example, you can shoot the girl with the iPad or with the phone, or you can use, uh, you can collage the images, obviously. But now we are talking, uh, how can you uh, combine two images in one shot remotely? This is uh, the way to do the same thing. Uh, what I did is that I put one image on my computer screen and I put my phone with another image next to it and re-photographed it with my uh, digital camera. Those images, one color, one black and white, one is funny, one is not funny. They conflict each other in some way, but they complement each other in, in another. So this could be also the way to go, something that you can use in your work. It's easy to do. And again, one image could be the screenshot, one image could be live conversation call. So it, it doesn't matter, will you do those images at the same time, or you will shoot one model and then another model. It's up to you, to your convenience and all that. All we need is uh, the result. So I actually photographed uh, a lot of uh, Skype sessions using film. I re-photograph my screen on film. And yes, I can call to somebody, make a screenshot, then put screenshot on my computer screen and then re-photograph it without a model. But that's not interesting to me. I do it live. So I photograph my model. She can't see me because of my huge camera in front of me. And, uh, but that's what I'm interested in. But if I would photograph like five models, maybe I would photograph one or two and then put uh, one model, for example, one image of a model on my phone. And another model, it's easier to direct to find the pose which complement maybe I will go this way. Or maybe I will do those two screens at the same time with live calls, but you have to switch the audio basically uh, and uh, direct two models at the same time and re-photograph them live. That's also up to you, up to your creativity, up to your needs, wants and all that. Uh, you even can put those two images, uh, put two screens, like big screen, if you, your computer has two screens, put one call on one screen, another call to another screen, and uh, take a 4K video of it, of the whole of this phone call, direct those models to do what, whatever you want, and then you, uh, use those video to make a screenshots, and those screenshots are your work. So when I get started with uh, web photography, I thought that it's not too interesting because you do not have a physical contact with the model. Like that's a remote shooting that existed, whatever. But when I started to work with this more and more, I discovered that the possibilities basically are endless. And the uh, next thing that I want to point out is that it is you on the other side. It is something that we do not have in photography for maybe ever. 
that it is you on the photo. Can you spot me? In this picture. Yes, in the right corner. Yes, so uh, this is basically I do a selfie with my models at the end, but th it doesn't matter. This is you. So you present in this picture, you can be the part of it in one way or another. For example, I talk with my friend who did a photo shoots with the models. He should um, basically erotic photos with girls in the lingerie and so on. But uh, we talk to each other and uh, after our talking, he used the face mask, he used tiger mask. And it uh, starts looking that the tiger is calling to this girl and this little square in the corner had a new meaning. So maybe in your concept, maybe when you will be shooting uh, with your models, with the designers, with your teams, you can use yourself. It's not for everyone, obviously, but you can use it. This is a tool. For example, even it is possible to do like that. You can say to one model, you will call to another model, you will do this and that, uh, and uh, for example, make a video of this phone call and then send this video to me and I will do those screenshots and we'll choose uh, the pictures, basically. So you can use this technique in variety of ways. But you is a part of an image. And uh, this is something that photography doesn't have. If you think about it, the digital photography, we use camera. Uh, yes, we present in a way that we uh, created the concept, blah, 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 and our style and all that. But we are not physically present on the photos, usually. And now we, we have this tool. Maybe you can wear something which complements the designer clothes. Maybe you can wear whatever. This is up to you. This is uh, just the possibility that I wanted to point out that existed, that you can use to your disposal. You can use the mirrors. You can use cameras. You can use two cameras. You can use, for example, Skype. And um, if model has two phones, you can... Uh, use one phone, for example, with uh, the Skype, another one with the FaceTime, call her with two phones. She can put them in different positions, so you, you have like different camera angles at the same time. So with these remote cameras, with this web uh, interface, with this all stuff, the possibilities are basically endless. And this is so fascinating. Uh, you do not have your perfect camera with 1.2 lens these days, today. But you have everything, basically everything uh, else. If you need any background, the model can go to any location where the internet connection is. If there is no internet connection, she can film herself while you direct in her. You can direct her, say, you go there, you shoot this and this, you do video, you do photos, then send it back to me and then I will take care of it, basically. Uh, but to do this, you have to have a clear concept. This is something that Giovanni has pointed out. This is something that I think after his lecture, <laughs> we can rule the world, or at least the city we're living in. It's so inspiring. So you have to have a concept, the idea. What are you talking about? What's the communication? And then if you have this, the photo shoot became very easy. You choose the location which complements the clothes. And I totally agree with him about this costume white. I actually see it in person. It looks out of this world. 
<laughs> Behold, uh, I saw in person the uh, whole collections of all uh, of all of our participants, and my compliments to all of you. You your your uh, collections are absolutely great. Uh, so you can easily, uh, if you have a concept, you can easily direct your model. You can easily, because maybe you don't need a model. Maybe you need uh, just the clothes itself and hang it somewhere in some location and shoot it. That also could be the case. We all see the last campaigns of all brands, you know that this is uh, something they did. The clothes without a person. So you can use even this. Uh, we are not limiting you by any rules or whatever, what's in your picture. But what is most important is that we can read it. So if you show us picture, we should read it easily. That's something that Giovanni uh, pointed out in his presentation. And this is the most um, important thing in photography, in fashion photography, especially in commercial photography. This is your language. You speak with the images. But it's not like you can do the photos only because this is a nice light, blah, 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 that's fine. But in the commercial photography, in uh, uh, especially in fashion photography, especially in nowadays, people should be able to read your communication. You communicate with, with photography. So get a clear idea, discuss with the designer, with your team, how you're gonna execute it. Have a plan and then go and execute. The tools that I personally see as the possibilities is this that I mentioned in my presentation. They are easy to use, anyone can do it. You do not need to be like 20 years of experience in photography to do basically everything that I showed you. Yes, I do some weird stuff with uh, photographic paper and uh, darkroom technique and I shoot film or... and okay, but you can do a screenshot. Everyone can do a screenshot. So that's my presentation. That's something that I want to show to you. If you have any question on... Uh, how to do something okay i i have a question i i uh okay i have the instagram you can reach me on instagram for all those technical parts and bits that maybe you want you can follow me on uh, you can find me on instagram on facebook whatever uh and ask anything you need i will do my best reply if you have a question now then Okay, our uh, final result is uh, two image collab in one, yep. Our result is uh, ideally one image with, with two, two okay. designers mm -hmm. presenting on it. So basically you have a team, one photographer, two designers. I know, Simon, <laughs> that it's not easy. <laughs> to see your clothes next to uh, another designer. I know, but it is possible. So one image with, which has two designers, but they have to interact in some way. That's basically your task, creative task. Uh, and the something that I want to point out that uh, I have a little story. Maybe if you're from Ukraine, maybe you know it. That our senior Tina Carroll has the track with Snoop Dogg. And there is a story behind it, how it happened. 
she has a phone call and they say, you have a collaboration with Snoop Dogg. Oh, wow, that's nice. You have one hour to produce your part of the track. She did it within one hour. So basically this represents the whole new world we live in. in. You will have limited resources always. You will have some creative tasks always as a creators, as a photographer. So imagine, I don't know, for me, Hiroshi Sugimoto or Nick Knight calling me and saying, Valeri, we need an image from you. You have one hour, do it. That's something that uh, we have keep in our mind. Now is the exactly the same situation. This is two designers that you have to work with. They make a beautiful, beautiful collections. Shoot it. This is the tools. I hope uh, some of the information you heard you can use in your uh, in, in production of your photos. Before to the announce, I wanted to to show you something. Uh, it's a sort of uh, provocation and uh, inspiration at the same time. Uh, okay, there. Okay. Um, the first question is: Do you think a model is so necessary? <laughs> this one is it's 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 a question no i i can play or not with uh, one model to model or without model no? but if i don't have a model uh how can i use uh other <laughs> another shape you know and these are example like a still life you know and i play with uh, uh, the chair that i have at home or uh, uh, near my house or uh, in, a, in, a, in a pub, why not, you know? And uh, uh, yes, of course. And, uh, uh, or I can use, uh, it's still life again, but I can play with the uh, fruits or <laughs> object that I have uh, around me, but the effect uh, is exactly the same, you know? And uh, this one for me, uh, absolutely uh, important, you know, that you can, use uh, every every possibility that you open your mind that exploded uh, the creativity in a, in a different uh, uh, in a different possibility in a different way you know uh, in this case the the famous uh, french baguette or uh, a, a, a ikea a ikea table why not uh, and uh, it's 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 nice that you can check around you and uh, and you surprise me and uh, <clears throat> and yourself at the same. Now look at this. This one is nice, no? <laughs> it's is the is you can play with the, the the geometrical shape of the the buildings. Uh, at the, the same time, you can play with the uh, with the shadow. No, look look at the shape. Uh, look at the shape of the uh, of the arm and the sleeves. Uh, sorry, and in the same moment, this cut of the of the shadow no? it's, it's it's nice the, the balance between these uh, two different places no and uh, everything is possible to create uh, and uh, to use the imagination for me the first step is the imagination without imagination is impossible or exactly stay at home is not a problem no if you are creative uh, because <laughs> salad, the lettuce, the same or lemon or banana or everything is is interesting. You know, I can play with the uh, plastic glove uh, that I use when I wash the dishes uh, or not. Or you can use yourself, no? Or uh, okay, I'm shy. I'm shy. I don't want to to use my body. Okay. I can use uh, myself, uh, but uh, in a different way, you know. And uh, this one is for me is super creative, you know. And uh, this one, this one is for me. It's push your expand your mental horizon to push the limit. Don't be afraid about about the, yourself. Are you are 
are you able to to draw okay you can draw on the mirror why not you know and uh, this one this one is uh, uh, an example um the, the opportunity the opportunity today is not to, not to create uh, a, 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 the perfect the perfect shooting but uh, to create uh, something different you know a new a new level a new level of the communication this one is for me is it's nice this one is it's 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 for me the the, the challenge you know because uh, i've seen a lot of images i've seen a lot of uh, uh, resume but i i wanted that you create uh, uh, something and uh, and I finished. The important thing is uh, to know what it means. This one for me is is uh, the, the the quote of the quote. You know, look at this. This one is a sustainability and nature with a, a simple example. No, because uh, I have a, a, immediately I communicate something. No, without uh, crazy or, or super expensive. Uh, uh, shooting. No? In this, immediately, I, I, I recognized that, or, or I wanted to recognize the, the my intimacy. Okay, I want to recognize the shyness. Okay, no, you. This one is the the, the opportunity or connection. Look at this lightness. Lightness is uh, is unbelievable. No, because I fall down a bag or a dress or the plastic uh, the plastic bag. Uh, uh, that uh, the, the plastic market bag, you know, that I inflate, but immediately I I create I create a shape, I create a new world. This one is for me is more interesting than uh, twenty five models, uh, uh, super super location or uh, or uh, whatever, no, or car or money. I think that uh, immediately this one is wow. Because behind there is a, a word. Behind it, I I have a lot of connection. Okay, this is the uh, example, of course, that you can use. You can uh, um, use like inspiration or uh, copy <laughs> or not. Uh, good. Now